Hi YouTube, welcome to my channel. This is going to be my first video upload on my new page and I'm going to start it off with a Louis Vuitton collection video. One of my favorite things to do on YouTube is to watch collection videos so I thought, you know, why not I make one of my own. So this is going to be my complete Louis Vuitton collection as of September 2013. So let's get started. Um, my first piece here that I'm going to show you is my six key holder in the monogram Macassar. The Macassar is a men's line. It's just the typical monogram canvas, but it's lined in black, so it's a little more masculine. It doesn't have the, the vachetta leather that, you know, most monogram pieces have that patina over time, so I love that. So, there it says Louis Vuitton Paris, made in France. I have it hot stamped with my initials there, and, um, yeah, so this one is a little different than, um, the normal key holders they have at Louis Vuitton. Usually at Louis Vuitton, like, there's a bar on top, and they have little lines that go down to hang your keys, and this is actually just a circle, so you just spin your keys, and it's different, and I don't know. I love it. So this is one of my more recent pickups. I picked it up about a month and a half ago, and so I'm getting good use out of this. And um, my next item is the wallet that I'm currently using. This is um, my Braza wallet in Damier Graphite. Um, you know, it's pretty functional. I really love it. You know, at first, I was not a long wallet person. I thought they were way too feminine. I know that's strange coming from a gay person, but, you know, I thought they were way too girly to have a long wallet, and now I think, like, they're God's gift to Earth, other than myself, of course. So, um, you know, it comes with 12 credit card slots, six on each side, and then has, like, a little compartment here. This is where I keep, like, my bus pass, and then there's three, whew, three little compartments there, one, two, three, I keep, like, gift cards there, and, um, one large compartment to keep, like, bills and cash, and, you know, you can fit a lot. I have, like, 54 pieces of banknotes here, and then, um, a zipper compartment here for your change, and then another compartment there for, um, for whatever else you want to put. So there is my Braza wallet. Love it. I've had this for a year and a half now, and I use it basically every day. This is my go-to wallet. Um, next I'm going to, I guess we'll start off with my SLGs. For those of you who don't know what SLGs are, SLGs are small leather goods. So I keep all my SLGs in this box here, just so it's more organized for me so I know where everything is. So I just keep everything in here in their little dust bags. And so, oops, sorry. We will start here. I don't really know what's in them, you know, since they're covered. So it'll be a guessing game. So first, the first piece we have here, typical with Louis Vuitton, anything you buy at Louis Vuitton, you'll get like a box, a bag, your receipt, and every item comes in a dust bag that just says Louis Vuitton. Um, so my first item here is my passport case in the monogram canvas. And so, you know, you just open up, and I'm Canadian, so there's my Canadian passport. And then it has um, three little card slots there, and then one big one, and another slot in the back, and then a little slit to have your passport. And again, I have it hot stamped with my initials, and... Louis Vuitton Paris, made in France. Um, so the next item we have is, again, comes in a little dust bag. Um, okay, um, is my little pochette clay. This was a limited edition piece. Um, I think I picked it up in 2011. It was the scribe mini pochette clay in the Damier Bean. I'm not 100% sure what it was called. Hold on, let me just check. Uh, just the receipt. Um, oh yeah, okay, so it's the pochette clay in the 
scribe. So there you go. That's what it was called. Um, so yeah, it's just um, like this. It says Louis Vuitton, Iru Scribe Paris. Blah, blah, blah. And it has um, a pocket in the back. A little um, attacher thing here that you can attach them um, to the D-ring on the inside of your bag, or I hang this sometimes as a little accessory on the outside of my bag. So again, typical clay style, you just open it up, just a big old hole, and it says Louis Vuitton Paris, made in Spain. So there is that. Um, the next item that I have to show you, again, Louis Vuitton, is... oh my Florin wallet. So this wallet originally I thought was like the holy grail of all wallets. I thought it was masculine. It was the most practical wallet out there. It has um, eight credit card slots and um, a transparent ID flap here. I usually put like my driver's license or my bus pass, a compartment here for your loose change, and then a giant compartment here that you can put your cash. And um, yeah, so again, I used to think this was the most beautiful wallet until I got my first long wallet. So again, Louis Vuitton Paris, made in France. I have it hot stamped with my initials again there. Um, so the next item I have is another Florin wallet. This was um, my very first Louis Vuitton purchase. I bought this when I was... 15 or 16 so i'm 22 now so it's been a while since i've owned it. i haven't used this in probably two or three years but yeah this was my first purchase um i was with a friend and we walked into louis vuitton and the sales associate just convinced me that you know i had to have it so i went and got it and again it's the same deal you can't really see there but louis vuitton paris made in france i have it hot stamped with my initials again same with the other Florin, eight credit card slot, transparent ID flap, coin compartment, and um, the compartment for your cash. So there is that. Next, I have another piece. Um, this is... oh my zippy coin purse in dami graphite to be honest like i bought this on when i went to go visit my friend in toronto i bought it at the louis vuitton in holt renfu and i have not used this item once it was it's the most unpractical item i don't know it's just so strange to me i don't know why i bought it i don't know i guess it's just a souvenir so it's just nice to have in the collection so what it features is just there's just a bunch of Slot. So I guess you can put one, two, three, four, five, six credit cards if you want, or you could just like stuff it with whatever you want, or coins, as I guess the name entitles what it's used for. So this is just the typical whatever. And again, it says there Louis Vuitton Paris, made in France. Um, yeah, I don't know why I bought this. Sometimes when I'm just depressed, I do a little shopping, and I don't know, momentary gladness. So my next piece I have is going to be a wallet. So here I have my Emily wallet in the monogram canvas. This is a woman's wallet. Um, I purchased this one because I also have a woman's bag. So I'm like, okay, woman's bag, you need a matching woman's wallet. And I just love this wallet because, um, as you can see, like has this little pop of color there. Um, the Emily wallets come, and I think it's red, blue, and green. I'm sure someone will correct me if I'm wrong, but um, I chose the red because I love red. So um, there's not really much room for credit cards here. You only have four credit card slots here in the front of the wallet, and then you have um, a zippered compartment for your change behind that, and then you have. A compartment there where I guess you can keep your cash and another one behind that for you can keep your receipts and what actually sold me on this wallet is the giant compartment they have here in the back it's very misleading it's actually huge I have um an iPhone 5 and um, I can easily fit my iPhone 5 into 
the wallet. And, um, you know, if you're going out and you just want to carry your cash, um, your credit cards, and your cell phone, you can easily stick that all in there. And, look, you don't even know your phone is there. It just disappeared, gone. So, I thought that was fabulous. So, um, next we have um, another wallet from Louis Vuitton. This is my most recent wallet purchase. Um, it's the Tannin wallet in the Monogram Macassar. So again, I actually, I really, really do not like this wallet. I love long wallets. It's basically a downgraded Braza wallet to me, but the only reason I bought this was because I bought a bag in the Monogram Macassar canvas, and I like my bags to match my wallet. So, you know, I like everything to match. So, you know, I didn't want another small wallet, so I got this. So, as you can see, Louis Vuitton Paris, made in France. It only has, it has eight credit card slots here. Um, a compartment here where, again, I, I just put, like, probably my bus pass. A compartment there in the back, I guess you can put receipts. A compartment here for your cash, and then a zippered compartment there for your change. Just so you can, like, compare, like, a Braza and the Tannin wallet. Like, you can see... You know, the browser has everything that the Tannin has and more. So, you know, if you had to opt, I'd obviously go for a browser again than the Tannin. But what can you do? So next item that we have is... Here, it's in a dust bag. Um, okay, it's um my cosmetic case in the Dami Abin. This is the medium size, I believe. Um, I don't wear makeup, but I just like to have things organized in my bag, so I don't like things rolling around and stuff and potentially damaging the inside. Oh, well, I have it stuffed with a sock monkey to keep it shaped, so there you go. Um, the inside of the bean is lined in red, and it just says... There, Louis Vuitton Paris, made in France. And the cosmetic case is really just one big gaping hole. It actually fits a lot. So, again, I can fit my cell phone, a cell phone charger, blotting sheets, um, Purell, whatever I need. And it just fits. And then there's another pocket there in the back for whatever you desire. Um, the next item I have is right here. Oh, it already says right there. It's another cosmetic case. Um, and um, I have it in the monogram canvas this time. And um, so it's the same deal as um, the one in the Abin. It's just this one's lined in like, I don't know, the beigey, light brown, whatever you want to call this canvas. And again, Louis Vuitton Paris made in France. And then the pocket in the back that I just like stick the tag things um, behind there. Um, what else do I have? Um, I guess here I have, again, this is like what everything comes in, becoming these tiny little boxes whenever you buy anything at Louis Vuitton. And this is just a piece that is actually damaged right now. I need to go and have it repaired. It's, um, it is a bag charm that I loved from Louis Vuitton, and I was foolish enough to just use it as, like, a normal keychain, and it got, like, bashed around in my bag. But as you can see, this is it. It, it um, has, like, the slidable ring there, and you can attach it to whatever. The end piece broke off, and one of the charms fell off, but you can see how cute it is with the little flowers and the lock and the heart and the LV there. Love this. I really need to see if I can have this repaired and if not repaired, replaced. So, um, next we will do my belts. So, I have all my belts behind here. So, um... The first belt I'm going to show you is my jeans calf leather belt. It's just a big silver buckle. It says Louis Vuitton and all this fun detailing here. And it's just like a black belt, um, cowhide leather. Um, I don't really use this belt that much. 
I just bought it because it was, like, pretty, and I probably used it, like, what, five times in my entire life. As you can see, like, the back of the belt is still pretty brand new looking compared to my other belts. And here, um, it says Louis Vuitton Paris, made in Spain. Um, so that is one belt. The next belt that I'm going to show you guys is my Inventure belt in the... Danye Adine canvas, so it says Louis Vuitton there, and it's just a pretty plaque, and has four studs there, and the canvas goes like that, and um, as you can see here, Louis Vuitton Paris, made in Spain. Um, next we have my monogram initials belt. This is probably the belt that um, most people buy as a starter belt at Louis Vuitton. So I have it in the monogram canvas. It has a gold buckle here and um, yeah, it's pretty. Again, this is Louis Vuitton Paris made in Spain. Oh, the patina is like really bad. I don't know if it's going to be able to pick up, but that's what it says. It's another Spain piece. Next we have... Um, I have my reversible multicolor belt in the white, the multicolor white canvas. Um, this is a woman's belt. They come, there's the white and there's a the black in the multicolor. I personally, I love the black when I was in high school and now I love the white now that I'm older. So one side has, um, the multicolor white canvas and the other side is just a plain red. And, um, the buckle is just gold there so um yeah and this piece is also Louis Vuitton Paris made in Spain if you can see that there um next I have um ooh, I have two ellipse belts one in the monogram canvas and the other in the damier of bean um these are like thinner belts so I wear these with like I don't know, dress pants and stuff when um, the loop for your belts aren't as big. So, you know, if you compare this to the monogram initials, you can see how it's a little bit smaller. So, yep, that's why I have them. Um, and I think both of these are my only belts that are made in France. And again, because of the wear and tear, you probably won't be able to pick that up, but... As you can see there, this one, my bean belt, is way more patina than the other one. So you can see how dark they can get. And I hate that, honestly. I don't know why the bag's patina. Actually, sometimes it's pretty, but I don't know. That's not always the case with me. So next we have, I guess, scarves. I'll do my scarves. I only have two scarves, but um, here I totally forgot the name of this scarf, but... um. I have it, I love it, it's my favorite scarf that I own. Um, it's in like a chocolate brown, a dark chocolate brown color, and then has just the LV there in yellow. And um, this one is made in, it says Louis Vuitton Paris, 100% cashmere, made in Italy. So there, we have that there. And um, the next scarf from Louis Vuitton that I have, if I can get this without things falling, is um this scarf. It's green and gray, as you can see there. And this one is called the Cardiff scarf. Um, yeah, I guess you can read it better there. It has like the monogram of the LV there, and then the other side is a flower. And I actually have not used this um once, but um I don't know, I have it. Um, and this one is made in Le Vuitton Paris, made in Scotland. It's made of 75% lamb's wool and 25% angora, if you guys can see that there. And yeah, those are my scarves. Um, next I'll do my sunglasses. Whoop. I only have one pair of sunglasses from Louis Vuitton, and it's these ones. It's typical ones. I'm sure you can guess. They're Louis Vuitton's best-selling sunglasses. So, again, it comes in the box. You open it up, and, um, 
you have the case here that just says Louis Vuitton. Open that up, Louis Vuitton there, a little dust bag for your sunglasses that says Louis Vuitton. And as you can probably guess, I have the Evidence sunglasses. And, um, you know, I'm not really a big fan of gold hardware, so I didn't really love these. It took me a long time to purchase these. I actually purchased these two months ago after years and years of debating. I was just bored. I was walking in downtown Vancouver and I'm like, oh, you know, I want something new. So I walked in and I picked up this and a few other accessories. So again, it just says Louis Vuitton there in gold. And these are handmade in Italy. And at the very top, I don't know if you can see, it has like the Louis Vuitton print the monogram print all like lasered in up there and oh I didn't know I had sunglasses on already but this is how they look on I'm more as you can tell I'm more of a silver hardware type of person but um I got these I love them they're fun so what can I say next um we are going to move on to my bag so we'll start with what I have behind me already. This is my Kipal 45 in the monogram Macassar canvas. So it's um, from Louis Vuitton's travel line. So you can either hold it top handle like this or cross body. It comes with a detachable shoulder strap. Um, sometimes I just use it, you know, as an everyday bag because it's small enough that it's pretty, you know, it's hot stamped with my initials there. Um, it has um, a little lock on the top that has LV on one side and then Louis Vuitton Paris on the other. And it's like really stuffed right now, so I'm not going to unstuff it. A key ball is basically an oversized speedy. It just has like one giant gaping hole and it can, it can fit a lot. Like, let's say that much. Like, this bag is no joke. You can fit a lot into this bag. Um, next, I have another Keepall. This is my Keepall 55 in the Damier Graphite. Same thing, hold it top handle. So these are the bandolier style. So the bandolier ones come with the detachable shoulder straps, or you can buy um, these bags at a cheaper price, but they don't come with the shoulder strap, but I love shoulder straps. I love options and variety. So this is the 55. It's larger than the 45. I couldn't use this as an everyday bag, but I can with this. So you can see the difference of how much bigger the 55 is compared to the 45. Um, next we'll do my most recent bag purchase. Um, I got this one for my birthday this year. So this is also my only dust bag that has the drawstring on top. So the bag that I have here is -da 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 -da, the Davis. So I have the Davis in the monogram Macassar print. And oh, it's just stuffed right now with bubble paper. So, um, yep, it's the Davis that I picked up. And again, you can hold it top handle and it comes with a detachable shoulder strap. Um, you know, I was debating between the Davis and the Kitan. They're both tote bags in the monogram Macassar line. The difference between the Davis and the Kitan is the Kitan has, um, a zipper to securely close your bag and the Davis does not. It just has um, this magnetic closure and um, I think the Davis is was also like three or four hundred dollars more than the Keytan but the Davis is a little bit more bigger than the Keytan so I opted for size over security because again I live in Vancouver like I don't really have to worry about being robbed but um you know so again I went for this and so again we have here Louis Vuitton Paris made in France and um the bag has a d-ring here so you can attach like you know any SLGs you have. It has a zipper compartment there on one side and the other side just has two flat pockets. 
So let's see if you can get that there. It's just like two flat pockets where you can stick things. I keep like the bag tags and all of that in there. And um, so yeah, that is my Davis. Like also if you want to see like a more detailed review of any of my pieces, just comment below and I can do that for you. So next I have, um, you know, Louis Vuitton, all their bags come in these giant oversized boxes. So the next bag that I have to show you is, do -do -do -do. there you go, they all come in these dust bags. And it is the Bobo, the Buborg, I don't know how people pronounce this, um, in the Damier Abin canvas. This is the only bag I think I have in this print. And, um, you know, I really do love the Abin canvas, but their selection for bags is disgusting. So, you know, this is the only one that I found practical even though I'm contemplating on buying the Weekender bag or the Porter Document GM, we'll see. Um, so yeah, it has like a front pocket here and, um, you know, the sides have little snap closures so you can expand the bag if you need more space. And um, this bag is made in Spain, as you can see on this little leather tab there, it says Louis Vuitton Paris made in Spain. I don't know if you're going to be able to see that, but um, it just has um, a cell phone compartment and then a flat pocket and a D-ring there as well. And um, the top of the bag has a zipper. So, you know, if you want to put something, have something more secure in your bag, because again, it's just an open bag like the Davis, you can put your wallet in there. You know, an iPad fits in here comfortably. I think um, you can fit a 13 to a 15 inch laptop that would be pushing it and I don't think I'd ever put something that heavy in a bag like this but um yeah so that is the Bobo the Buborg whatever people like to call it in the Damier Bean. Next we have in another one of their giant boxes um ooh. Oh, well, here, I forgot another another piece from their little travel collection, I guess, um, is um, the toiletry case or toiletry pouch in the Dami Graphite. So here it says Louis Vuitton Paris, made in France. And um, I've never used this. <laughs> I bought it because I'm like, oh, like it'll be so pretty to use. But then, no, this... Just, you know, I think it's too nice to fill with dirty products. So again, it says Louis Vuitton Paris there. It has a zipper compartment there. You can put things and um, the inside of the bag is just one hole and it has um, little elastic-y things so you can have your bottles upright, I guess, if you need them to be. Um, next that we have another giant box. Um, ugh. the next piece, oh, well, I didn't get to this bag, so we'll go back to this box. Um, here we go, the dust bag. Um, I have, this is my woman's bag. It's the Palermo GM, Palermo, Palermo. Whatever you want to call it, you can hold it top handle or cross body. It comes with a detachable shoulder strap. It's cute. The zipper pull is like a little charm here. And they have um, two bag charms attached to this. Um, I have like a good luck one from Louis Vuitton. I don't know if the camera will read this that well, but it's like, I don't know, like a little good luck thing. And says Louis Vuitton Paris made in France on the back. And then I have another little bag charm here with an... LV and then little jewels and tassels and stuff like that and see um, you can see the bag has patina to that beautiful desirable honey brown that people seek after and um, I don't know I'm getting more and more afraid to use this bag because I don't want it to turn that ugly black that you see on some people's bags. Um, next I have this is going to be my last piece, and 
giant dust bag. This was my very first purchase. Well, my very first bag that I ever purchased at Louis Vuitton. Like, when I told myself if I'd ever own Louis Vuitton, I'm like, it's going to have to be this bag. I love it. And it is the Tadao in the Dami Graphite. It is a tote bag. It's extremely functional. It's starting to lose its shape, so now I have it stuffed. So again, you can hold it top handle or cross body. And, um, yeah, it's the typical inside of a Louis Vuitton bag. It has, um, a flat pocket in the back, and then one for yourself and another flat pocket. I don't want to unstuff this because it's like really, really stuffed. So, um, yeah, that is my Louis Vuitton collection as of September 2013. And if you guys want to see any other collection videos or any further detail on any of the items I'm showing you guys, you can comment below and, um, you know, if you'd like to see my sunglass collection, I have a very, very large sunglass collection or cologne or anything else designer, um, just comment below. So um, please like and subscribe and I'll see you guys soon. Bye.